Hi all, this is a video for everyone who's interested in bait finesse, bait casting. So ultra like bait casting reels and especially the ones from Abu Garcia. So if you're into that, you probably know the Revo MG Extreme 2, uh, which has been out for a few years now. And uh, this is one of them, obviously. Uh, this is the second one, kind of customized um, purple touch and also a super light um, honeycomb spool. But this video is about some new additions to the Abu Garcia lineup. And um, today I'm going to show you what's hiding in these two boxes. You kind of get a sneak peek here. It's a Xenon MGX and a Xenon MG LTX. And today we're going to unbox them and see what's the difference between the two. So we will start with the Xenon MGX. Let me just go ahead and uh, pop this open. And what we can see already is that it comes in a really pretty packaging. So we have this outer kind of natural carbon and then the matte black with the chrome Abu Garcia Xenon logo. I will pop this open. I do know the packaging they do on the spinning wheels and there they have a really nice nylon box. Let's see. Yes, they also do the same now for the casting reels. So you get your reel in a really nice, pretty compact hard case. I've never had this before actually in a casting reel, so it looks pretty nice. And now that's the moment you've been waiting for. Okay, here we have it. So compared to the MG Extreme or MGX also, it has a very stealthy look. It's all gray and black. We have the carbon fiber handle, this uh, really new knob style with kind of the Abu Garcia logo embedded here into the end caps. The spool is quite deep, it's ported, so you have some weight savings there. Let me see, so the mechanism for popping the side plate open has changed. Okay. They have changed the axle design, so now we have an axle that goes all the way through to the spool tension knob. This is a stainless steel bearing here and we have the IVCB4 centrifugal brake system. Overall, what you notice right away that the reel is super light. Here you have the plate on this. I have super polished them before for the um, MGX, MG Extreme. So that's one thing you can do. I think it gives you a bit more consistent braking. Oh, this is new. You now have a brake clicker. Let me play around with this. Oh, it feels smooth, but yeah, it really goes to a quite strong level. Yeah, and this is cool. Brake clicker in a light casting wheel. This is nice. Okay, let's quickly go over the stats of this beauty. So, what we have here, here we do have the stats. So, as I said, we're starting with the MGX 11 ball bearings. This is the um, 
high speed version, so 8.3 to 1 gear ratio, which gives you 83 centimeters of 33 inches per turn. 7 kg 15 lips brake power, that's quite strong for such real. And this one is 5.11 ounces, so 145 grams. So with my MG Extremes, we were just below 130. Um, but yes, the MGX is, is not the super lightest one. Okay, you have line capacity, uh, 135 meters of 29, or 125 of 29 braid. On a mono, and then the lower is braid. So that's well, more than plenty, I think. Okay, so this was the start, but um, now I think the most interesting part is how does this compare to the super flagship model, the MG LTX. So let's go ahead and pop that open. So here we have it. The MG LTX, again, of course, in our version. And uh, let's see what this one has in store. Okay, so what we can see right away, it's the same packaging job. They are one product family. Again, really nice feel to it. Okay, popping this open. And what we see is basically the same nylon hard case. Again, very nice feel to it, very sturdy. Okay, and now here we go. There we have it. This is the Xenon MG LTX in a much brighter silver color. So, what are the differences between these two? Um, what jumps the eye is the carbon dragster here, in comparison to the ported aluminum one on the MGX. Um, the handle is shorter, is maybe an 80 millimeter on the LTX to the 90, I would guess. Let me check. Yes, 90 on the MGX and 80 on the MG LTX. So this positions this much stronger as a really bait finesse reel. And also, wow, you can see this a huge difference for the size of the knobs. Uh, they're Longer, wider, thicker, so this one here is, is much finer in its dimensions. Styling is the same though, with the Abu Garcia themed end caps. Let's have a look at the spool. Okay. So it's much more ported. I have these ports now also here on the side of the spool. It's again a relatively deep spool. Let's see, I think the line capacity is the same. Yes, uh, same line capacity, 100 and, um, 135 meters of 0.29 braid. That's what they list. They both have the IVC4 braking system. Let's compare these spools real quick. So 
these are the two spools side by side we can see the mgx and the mgltx mgltx with the silver um, decorum on the top of the spool the middle porting seems to be the same but the side porting of course is the difference so let's see what that does in terms of spool weight okay here we go let's start with the mgx and here the spool weighs in at 9.8 grams so that's relatively light not really bfs space um, and now the mg ltx is 8.7 so 1.2 grams lower that's actually quite enormous 1.2 grams that cannot be just from these holes can it not sure i think the general design on these is a bit different oh you can also see the the center is ported as well so yeah not sure where they found it but in total 1.2 grams difference Let's just check the overall weight of the reels. Um, therefore, I'm going to put it back together real quick. It's 132.8. Um, it's rated at 131, so the difference probably is uh, on the grease and oil within the rear. And as a quick comparison, let's have a look at the MGX. And this weighs in at 146.7. It's rated at 145. So also here, 1.7 roundabout grams of difference, which is due to the grease and loop that's applied to the rear. Okay. Now, is this, especially the MGLTX, your top BFS reel? Um, I'm not sure yet. If you have a deep spool like this, you will probably have 8-9 grams of line on it if you fill it to the brim, uh, which I always like to do. And it honestly, does not make the perfect BFS reel yet, but we will test it. And also we have some modifications planned, so um, we we'll look at that in a later video. Now, until then, let's first of all put it next to the predecessor, basically, the MG Extreme 2. Um, this was, in fact, 3 grams lighter um, in the stock version. This one is a bit modified, but the stock version is 3 grams lighter than now the new Xenon MG LTX. Um, the engineers from Abu Garcia say, okay, now weight was not their number one goal um, or reduced weight was not their one, number one goal, but really overall performance of the reel. Um, Size-wise, they look similar. I think from this angle, the Xenon looks a bit larger. What I like about the Xenon is that it's kind of asymmetrical. So you have this asymmetric thumb bar, um, which looks really sleek. And also you can see that um, here the side plate on the front is um, a bit drawn towards the back. So it does not stand out as far as it did on the MG Extreme. So now it's not a fair comparison because this one is filled with line, but both really feel super light in hand. Wow. Both of them, so also the new Xenons, do have a loop port, which comes in handy. And uh, if you only do a quick kind of quick and dirty maintenance, that's very helpful. 
it feels very comfortable. It feels quite solid as well for such a light reel. Roller bearing, bearing works well. Oh, we haven't checked the brake. And okay, on the MG LTX, it does not click. Okay, so the clicking drag feature is exclusive to the MGX. And boy, do I like that sound. That sounds really nice. Can't wait to hear that ripping up uh, in, in with a fish on the other end of the line. Wow. Okay. So, all in all, at first glance, they seem quite similar, but they're quite a few differences actually. Drag clicker, um, much more finesse styling on the MG LTX with a short handled small knobs, carbon drag style. Um, the ported spool, we will see what that does for casting performance later. Um, but really, very nice family of reels we have here. Um, and then we'll see how do they stack up against the Legacy MJ Extreme 2 and also how do they stack up in the super tuned Bay Finesse version against the super tuned Bait Finesse version of the MG Extreme 2. So stay tuned for that and see you next time. Bye.